Hello YouTube, it's Kay, and today I thought I would do a little winter essentials video for you guys. I want to apologize for my voice, first of all, I'm getting over the flu and I'm getting over a cold, so you're going to have to give me a break on my stuffy, stuffy nose. The first item I like to prefer for the winter to the summer or spring or fall is definitely hand cream. Just in the winter you get so cold and your skin and your hands especially can get very dried out and you tend to feel kind of, I would say, I, I say scaly, but I love to use hand cream just to kind of get everything to feel softer and just a lot more nice feeling. This is my favorite one at the moment. It is called Twisted Peppermint from Bath and Body Work. It's a nourishing hand cream with shea butter and vitamin E. It is so nice and I love it so much. It smells delicious from what I can smell right now with my nose being very clogged, but it smells so good and it feels great on my skin. The next thing that I have is also another beauty product. I tend to use these exclusively in the winter and that happens to be face masks. Face masks I just feel are very useful in the winter. When your face starts to get dried out from the cold wind hitting it, I have something on my nose, I can feel it. Ugh. When the cold hits your skin it just starts to dry it out and these are so nice. You can see I've already opened these. I just, I have to open them to test them to make sure they don't affect my skin like I don't get any rashes or anything because I made that mistake with soap multiple times and I've gotten rashes from it. I'm, I have very sensitive skin. <sighs> Sorry, that was like the biggest sigh ever for no reason at all. Anyways, these are so nice. I got these at Target for $3 for both of them. I have, they have like this amazing thing going on where you can get certain things for a certain price. And these came together and so I love them together. I, one of them it was a peel off, this is a peel off and this is a deep sea mud mask and they feel amazing. I did another one earlier and they just feel great. Um, they smell fantastic too and they just leave your skin feeling so refreshed and replenished and toned. I'll see if I can get a close up for the camera. They're just so nice and they're just so, so nice. That's all I have to say, they're just nice. The next thing I have is actually an empty wrapper because I already used this product last night and these are bath bombs. I should use bath bombs for any time of the year but for the winter especially just because the oils can really replenish your skin a lot of times. Again, you don't want to feel scaly or dry and you don't want your, anything to crack open because it's gross. But these I got at Target as well. They are called Tiny Me and I was very interested mainly because they are called mini bath ice creams and they I thought maybe they'd be just like bath bombs and they were they were so so fantastic they're called bath soaks I don't know if bath bomb is like trademarked by Lush or not but these were so nice and they smelled like pomegranate and they were just about that big little ice cream scoops they fit in this bag this was also I think three dollars and I could not have been happier. It smelled good and I felt amazing afterwards. Ah! What sound? Oh my god. I'm just gonna stop. The next thing I think is a essential for winter are hats. And not just beanies. Beanies aren't really my thing. I don't really look good in beanies. Of course, beanies are great for the winter if you can pull them off, which most people can. And I have quite a few beanies that I actually bought in Italy. And if you want to see my Italy adventure, adventure? 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 Adventure. If you want to see my Italy adventure, I'll leave the link in the description below to go check out my Italy vlog, which is on my channel as well, when I went to Italy with my choir last spring. So go check that out, but first, finish off this video. But, I don't really wear beanies that much, even though I bought like three in Italy, I don't really wear them that much. But what I do wear are brimmed hats. I love a good brimmed hat. I just think they're so useful. This one has fuzz all over it because my cat. Yeah, my cat and my own hair. But I really love I love this one. This one's my favorite. I got this one at Forever 21. It was on sale for $8 and I couldn't help myself. And I have some five sauce pins on the side that I got at Hot Topic. And I thought, you know what? I'll class it up even more and put some five sauce pins on my hat. It's just so nice. It keeps my head nice and warm, and it flatters my face shape nicely. I would put it on 
but I don't want to mess up my hair. Even though my hair is pretty messed up anyways. Next item! The next thing I love for winter are definitely some fuzzy socks. Fuzzy warm socks are fantastic for winter for many different reasons. Just they're cozy and feeling cozy is something that I love to do during the winter. <sighs> just sitting next to a fire with a Christmas tree or a halt or a menorah or anything that's to represent your holiday and makes you feel cozy with your family, drinking hot cocoa or hot cider, just feeling amazing and so cozy. And I think cozy, warm, fuzzy socks are the best. These, I believe, were gotten at Target. They are just so nice. I have some, my favorite ones, which are currently in the wash, are from Boohoo, which I love so much. I took them to Italy with me. I will leave a link in the description for those if you guys are interested. But these are nice as well. I just love, oh, just, just so soft, so soft. These have been washed, by the way. I'm not showing you dirty socks, because I'm not that... No. Next item. The next thing is my last beauty product, I believe. Yes, it is. And that is, during the, during the summer, I lean towards bronzer for my face and do my cheeks, nose, and um, forehead. Sometimes I'll do my chin, but not very often. I only do my chin if I'm going to like a pool party and I want to like extra bronze. Because as you have, if you, because if you haven't noticed, I am pretty, pretty pale. Finding a uh, concealer and foundation that match my skin tone is one of the hardest things I have, like, I can't even. My friend would joke all the time that I should just use white out because I'm just so pale. I am the palest person I know, and <sighs> bronzer for me is basically like a very light, light brown. <laughs> a little golden, I guess. Like, it's so hard, but during the winter, I kind of shy away from bronzer, and I lean more towards blusher. Or blush. This is Tango from. I can't even. I can never pronounce this company right. Hi Kiri Cosmetics, and I love this. I got this in my Ipsy bag a while back, I believe. It is just so nice and so beautiful. The color is fantastic. Honestly, I love it. It's so pink, and the undertone of my complexion is definitely pink. But this is so lovely and it's so pretty. I'm wearing it right now. I don't know if I'm wearing too much of it or not. But in the winter, I like towards blusher just because I feel you have to have those rosy cheeks in the winter. You have to have, like, <clears throat> your skin's red from the cold. And I think having blusher makes you look adorable and cute. And I really, really enjoy looking adorable and cute. <laughs> like a doll, but not as creepy. And, yeah. Next item. The next item I will have to get up off the floor because I didn't want them on my bed since I've been wearing them all day. These are boots. Boots are amazing winter essential, especially if you live where I, place where I live and it is snowy a lot of the time or cold and mushy and the grass is just kind of gross. These are also from Target. These were actually my grandmother's that she gave me because she didn't want them anymore. And I'm like, sure, Grandma, I'll take those right now. And they're just so nice, so comfortable. I like the little chain right here. Little buckle. I just think they are adorable. Any kind of boots are amazing. I have black combat boots. I have tan combat boots. I have those boots. And I have some brown heeled boots, which are not, obviously, are not appropriate for winter. I don't know. I just laugh at that. It's not funny, like most of my jokes. But, um... Boots are great, they just keep your feet warm, and if you mix boots with the fuzzy socks, I threw this fuzzy socks away so I can't grab them, but boots, fuzzy socks, oh my god. <sighs> if only sweatpants were more socially acceptable, and I actually enjoyed them. <laughs> yeah. Next, uh, next essential... Are more, it's more of a recent essential that I've been wearing a lot more this year, which are fleece-lined tights. I really have become obsessed with fleece-lined tights. These I've gotten from Big Lots, actually. I, my, I have another, I have two pairs of fleece-lined tights. My favorite pair is definitely from 
uh, Forever 21 that I have, and they are so warm and so soft and so comfortable. Most tights I find are very itchy and very annoying, but these tights are just so nice. They don't itch. They're warm. They're insulated. They've got fleece on the inside. Let's see if I can show you the fleece on the inside. These are the big lot ones, and so they might not have as they don't have as much fleece as the Forever 21 ones do. They're still super nice and super warm and great if you like if you're like me and like to wear dresses all the time. See, I do that when I said all the time. I think this is my last essential, actually, which is one of my favorite ones. Again, for just this year. And again, stuff that I bought in Italy are scarves. So many scarves. I have so many scarves this year. I haven't even worn all of them, I don't think. But I love scarves for the winter, especially because it just... They can make any outfit amazing, and you can just feel cute, and you can just hide your face in them, and just look adorable. This one is, again, from Big Lots. Or no, this one, this one is from Target, I believe. And I just love the feel of it. It is so soft and so beautiful, and it's just knitted well. It's warm, it's beautiful, and I love it. And it goes with everything. This one, as well, is one of my favorites, mainly because I got this one in Italy as well. And when I first bought it, it stunk really bad because I bought it from a street vendor in Italy. But, you know, what are you going to do but look fabulous wearing a stinky scarf that you had to wash eight times? My friends did tell me it smelled, it smelled really bad, but I could not, it didn't smell bad to me. It smelled kind of like my childhood, which is really, really sad considering everyone's like, ew, that smells disgusting. And to me it's like, oh, it reminds me of when I was a kid. It's like, it smelled so bad in my childhood that I actually, like, enjoyed more than hated, I guess. <sighs> well, that's it. Those are my winter essentials for all of you guys. I'm probably going to be posting another winter kind of themed video pretty soon. I think I'm going to be doing, I think I'm going to be doing, is speaking English, hopefully. I think I'm going to be doing a winter makeup tutorial where I show you guys my winter makeup routine, the skin routine I do for the winter, which probably includes a lot of this on my hands, a lot of these on my faces, and a lot of these on my body. So, I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment if you guys have anything else you want to see me do essentials on, like school essentials, I don't know. Any other kind of videos you want to see and kind of makeup tutorials, I am open to all suggestions. Leave them in the comments and yeah. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you guys. I'm being part of a collab channel with a few of my friends and that will be starting up next week. I am so excited. It is called Soon To Be. I will leave a link in it. I will leave a link to it in the description as well. If you guys check it out, subscribe and get ready for our videos next week. There are... I think six of us, there are six of us that have been going and posting every single day except for Sundays, which will be reserved for a, a collab day or just kind of like a I'm sleeping in day. My days are Thursday, so keep in tune for that. Our first week's theme is going to be Get to Know Us, so don't forget to just go and subscribe to that, get ready for those videos, because they will be a blast, trust me. I hope you guys enjoy. Bye!